Hi, it's October 16th. This is the word that I got this morning. Your good works are as filthy rags unto me. Any good you do in your person without the Holy Spirit guiding you is not seen. It does not matter. Only good fruit can be produced by the Holy Spirit. Judgment was served on my elect. The Lamb of God took that judgment. Nothing else can be brought in front of the Father when a person has received me. The Holy Spirit convicts you, not condemns you. The Holy Spirit also convicts you of righteousness. When you know you are righteous, you live righteously. Sin is dead inside of you. The demons that corrupt, you need to send to my feet until judgment upon them. If my father casts judgment on a saved believer, is that not double jeopardy? That is not my father's way. I, Yeshua HaMashiach, was the lamb brought to the slaughter. My blood paid for the sin of the world. Believers produce different fruits. These things will be honored in heaven. Sinners needed the removal of their sin. That is the person of that is the purpose of the cross. Sin cannot be judged twice. Unbelievers will be judged harshly. For if they do not believe in the sacrifice of the Son of God on the cross, their judgment has not yet been fulfilled. Your nation can and will be judged, as will all non-believers. Satan is out to destroy the Father's creation. Protect your hearts. Call on the Holy Spirit to guide you in all things. This is the will of the Father. The Father will examine every heart, for he is the judge. Satan is the accuser, and the people of this world all stand accused, every last one. The Son was sent to serve the sentence for his elect. Do they need again to serve the sentence? Do not let Satan steal your righteousness. Put on my armor every morning and fight him tooth and nail. He loves nothing more for you to wallow in guilt and shame. Your guilt and shame were taken to the cross. All of my elect's guilt and shame was put to death on the cross. Satan cannot accuse you. You have already had your trial. You were found guilty, but the sentence has been fulfilled. Guilt is not of me. Shame is not of me, nor are they of my Father. The love of the Father knows no bounds. When you place your faith and hope in that love and walk in the Ruach HaKodesh, you are living the will of the Father. Be filled with the Holy Spirit constantly. Leave no room in your heart for Satan's minions. Tell them they have no choice but to flee and go to the feet of Christ. Walk in the righteousness of Christ. That is what you are, righteous.